Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna turn an old, rusted, non-running electric golf cart and turn it into a 125cc gas golf cart. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and show you all the parts that you're gonna need to do this conversion. Um, so I kind of just laid everything out on my pool table and there's some more stuff over there. So I guess we'll go ahead and start with the fact that I'm building this golf cart using the stock leaf springs and the stock shock, shock absorbers. Um, and then I'm building a, a rear swing arm so that the motor and the rear axle stay in line with each other so that the chain doesn't constantly get knocked off. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with this one inch um, solid axle that I got from Go Power Sports. And this is a 44 inch long rear axle. Um, then I have a 36 tooth sprocket 420 chain with a one inch bore. This is a six inch brake rotor. Um, these are two hubs that I got from Go Power Sports that are four inches by four inches to fit the golf cart wheels and a one inch bore. These are one inch pillow block bearings. Um, we have the rear caliper and the master cylinder. Um, this is a quarter inch by quarter inch keyway um, to fit in these slots for the sprocket and the brake. Um, this is the wiring harness for the motor. So it in includes the key switch, um, the electric start and headlights. Um, and then we have a rectifier for different lights that I wanna put on this, um, spark plug boot, a s starter wire, stuff like that. Then we have six feet a 420 chain. Um, I bought more than I probably need, but I wanted to make sure I didn't run out. And then I went ahead and bought some master links. Um, I bought more than I needed just in case I lost any of the parts. You're gonna need an exhaust. So I got this one super cheap on Amazon. Uh, it was like 50 bucks and I could have made my own, but for 50 bucks, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and see if this fits. If not, I can kind of change it up a little bit. And then over here is the 125 cc motor that i got off ebay and so this has three forward gears neutral and reverse um, so i got this motor um, the filter carburetor shifter extra spark plug and wiring harness all together for 430 dollars um, so i got that on ebay and it also came with the stager so that I can run headlights. I got this brake caliper on eBay for $60. Um, this I got on, um, so I got this the and the brake rotor from a website that I'll put down in the description. And I got these on Amazon, the one inch pillow block bearings. Um, and then this actually goes to a garage door jack shaft but it, it i think it's going to work perfect for this project so all in on parts i'm roughly in 700 dollars. so just so you guys have a, an idea of what this is all going to cost all right so as you can see here i started making a cad design of exactly what i wanted to build for this rear swing arm so i put together a like, as you can see, this blue piece is actually the frame of the golf cart. Um, it has the leaf springs. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have are the actual shock absorbers. Um, but those will mount in this area of the rear swing arm. So I went ahead and put in a motor that I got off of Grab CAD uh, to help me with some of the sizing. And then I put pieced together my solid rear axle with 36 tooth sprocket and a six inch brake rotor. So I will go ahead and hide some of these things so that you can see just my rear swing arm. Where's that? So we'll go ahead and hide that and hide this. So this right here is my rear swing arm design. So basically I wanted to utilize the stock golf cart leaf springs so i went ahead and made these perches here on either side um, that are going to be mounted to the to the um to the leaf springs and basically this right here there's going to be a metal plate 
three sixteenths inch thick that's going to be where the motor is mounted to um, and then it basically pivots right here on the front and this will be welded to the frame of the golf cart hey everyone this is the start to my 125 cc electric to gas golf cart conversion so i picked this up it's a uh, 1988 easy go electric golf cart um, and basically it was just exactly what you see here it didn't come with a seat uh, but it did come with wheels tires um, the whole rear axle basically everything except for the seat um, and a motor and batteries but basically what i have been doing so far is fixing the frame because when i got it it was really, really rusted. It was rusted clean through these frame rails. Um, so I went ahead and got some one inch by two inch steel tubing and fixed both of these up. So now it is very strong. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cross brace it next. But once that's done, I can weld the floor back in um, and actually start on the fun stuff, which is putting in the live axle, you know, building the swing arm and stuff like that. Uh, stay tuned. This is going to be a really fun, exciting project. Well, I got that crossbar welded in and it looks great, uh, but it just started downpouring. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break until this weather uh, gets a little better. Okay, so I got this rear swing arm built. Uh, right now it's upside down just so I don't scratch up these pillow block bearings. Um, but basically this is kind of the design that I went with. So this right here is actually where the motor is going to be mounted. It's upside down, um, but my next step is going to be drilling the holes in that so that I can mount the, uh, the engine. Um, on the front, I got welded on the pivot place where this is all going to pivot from. I got the pillow blocks mounted. And then I also got these perches weld on, welded on, and that's where this is gonna be mounted to the leaf springs in the rear. Um, so I'm extremely happy with how this turned out. Um, and like I said, the next step is gonna be drilling the hole so I can mount the motor. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the rear axle out of the golf cart um, and then mock this up. I'm really excited, so stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm outside and I'm mocking up the engine and the live axle, the sprocket and the brakes. Um, just to ensure that everything fits before I start putting it into the golf cart. Um, so I'm really happy with how this is coming out so far. So basically that's our um, 36 tooth rear sprocket, um, 420 chain up to a 14 tooth sprocket on the front. And this is the six inch brake rotor. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you yet, but I went ahead and made a brake caliper mount and uh, I got the keyways cut and slipped into place. And the next step is to clearance right here on the engine. The chain is slightly hitting it because this motor goes to a pit bike where the chain comes straight out instead of down. So I need to clearance right here. Uh, but that looks like the only place I'm gonna have to clearance. The chain is um, basically the perfect length but I have a lot of extra if I need to make any adjustments. I went ahead and threw the exhaust on earlier and it fits amazing. So the exhaust comes down and then back up and over, but there's plenty of clearance around everything. So I'm really excited for that. So I got the tires bolted up and uh, I was measuring for ground clearance and double checking that all my measurements were correct. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna do is actually take the stock um, electric rear axle out of this and then I can move um, this whole assembly into place and double check that um, it's going to clear everything. I did notice that it's going to be pretty close um, on these perches. What I didn't realize is that this 44 inch axle that I bought um, lengthwise has like three inches of threaded rod on either side. So really this is like six inches shorter than what it says, um, which is a little bit annoying. So I bought a 44 inch axle thinking that I would have 44 inches between the two hubs, but really I only have 
like 38 inches between both hubs. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if I were go if I were to go back, I would buy probably like a 48 or so inch axle, um, but I think it'll still be okay. So let me go ahead and take this rear axle assembly out and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, you gotta check this out. Um, everything fits perfectly. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised because I did design all this on CAD, um, but the pivot point lines up great. Uh, the clearance between the motor and the frame rails looks awesome. Uh, don't worry, that's just some surface rust that'll scratch off. Um, right now it's on jack stands, so that's why the rear end is so high off the ground. I got the old rear axle pulled out um, and took off. Basically this had a three inch lift put on it and the previous owner literally just used some inch and a half tubing to do the lift, which I guess technically it worked. But once it's sitting down onto the perches, it should have the same three inch lift. That's how I designed it. So it is extremely close. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like half an inch between the tire and the, uh, the leaf springs. Um, so I'm gonna test it and see if it works. If not, I'm probably gonna have to do independent rear suspension using you know a shock on either side, which I'm not against. I just don't really wanna spend any more money because as it is right now, I'm about um, just over $1,000 into this, including the price of the golf cart. Um, but I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Motor looks great in there. Got to build a battery box. Um, but this is where I'm at now. Hey, thanks for watching part one of my build. Check out my channel to watch parts two and parts three.